सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स टू यू दीरीज नेक्टर ऑफ पोएट्री फ्रेंड्स इन दिस सीरीज वी ब्रिंग टू यू द पोएम्स बाय सम वेल नोन पोएट्स ऑफ इंग्लिश इन दिस प्रोग्राम वी ब्रिंग टू यू द पोएम The Echoing Green William Blake was an English poet and philosopher born 1757 died in the year 1827 Blake was considered mad by his contemporaries and only a later generation could recognize his greatness Blake is famous for his two poetry collections Song of Innocence and Songs of Experience His poetry reflects the relationships between nature and man divinity and humanity He stated that a religion should not discourage earthly joy Since these themes were abstract Blake was not very sure that artists could illustrate his poems So he himself engraved images on copper plate which was a complex and laborious process these were set along with his poems let us read a poem the echoing green from his collection songs of innocence the echoing green the sun does arise and make happy the skies the merry bells ring to welcome the spring the sky lark and thrush the birds of the bush sing louder around to the bells cheerful sound while our sports shall be seen on the echoing green old john with white hair does laugh away care sitting under the oak among the old folk they laugh at our play and soon they all say such such were the joys when we all girls and boys in our youth time were seen <laughs> on the echoing green no more can be merry the sun does descend and our sports have an end around the laps of their mothers many sisters and brothers like birds in their nest are ready for rest and sport no more seen on the darkening green and sport no more seen on the darkening green dear friends the poem talks about children playing and laughing in the open ground finally returning home to rest their calls to each other and their laughter echo in the air it is also echoed in the memories of the old people who are sitting on the green grass under the trees they remember their own childhood with nostalgia the poem begins with the sunrise it is spring and the birds chirp and sing in harmony with the ringing church bells The last stanza is about sunset when the children are tired and go home to rest on their mother's laps The whole poem can be read as a metaphor of human life sunrise representing childhood on the beginning of life and sunset representing old age as they wait for the final resting place Do you know of a poem in your own mother tongue about the joys of childhood? If so, recite it to your friends.
फ्रेंड्स यू आर जस्ट लिसनिंग टू दिस प्रोग्राम सब्जेक्ट कोऑर्डिनेशन डॉक्टर रविंद्र कुमार सब्जेक्ट एक्सपर्ट डॉक्टर वर्धा एम निकलजे सपोर्ट डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एजुकेशन इन लैंग्वेजेस आर्टिस्ट सुचित्रा गुप्ता रिकॉर्डेड बाय बटी लैंगलिंगडो प्रोडक्शन असिस्टेंस मयंक थापरियाल डायरेक्टेड एंड प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय वंदना अरिमर्दन दिस प्रोग्राम इज प्रेजेंटेड टू यू बाय सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी न्यू डेली इंडिया